Welcome to the CSSN channel. Our topic for today is what is plateau in weight loss and the reasons for plateau. When it comes to weight loss, it may be easy to some, but it is definitely challenging and frustrating to many. During your weight loss, there might be a time that you realize the scale doesn't budge anymore and your weight loss has come to a halt. Today, you will learn about 15 reasons that could cause plateau in your weight loss. My name is Abuzar Habib Inya. I have an MD degree and I'm the director of the Canadian Academy of Sports Nutrition. Subscribe to the CSSN channel to enjoy the information we share on a weekly basis about medicine, weight loss, fitness, and sports nutrition. Okay, let's see what are those 15 reasons of plateau in weight loss. But before I list those 15 reasons for you, you need to know what plateau is. If someone did lose weight for, I don't know, two days, five months, when do we call someone has plateaued? There was no universal agreement about plateau in weight loss until seven years ago, back to 2012. At the CSSN, we proposed a definition, and hopefully our definition has found its way into the world of weight loss and fitness and we are so proud of it. Here is the definition. You lose some weight at the beginning, then you stuck for three weeks or more. So basically initial weight loss followed by three weeks or more, no changes in your weight, then we call you have plateaued. And one more thing, plateau is a complicated entity. Usually there is not one single reason for plateau. When someone plateaus, there are usually two reasons or more. Okay, let's see what are those uh, 15 reasons. Today, I'm going to just list those 15 reasons for you. I'm not going to go to details of them. I could talk at least one hour about every single of them, but we don't have that much time. But, um, but I promise you, in our next videos, I'm going to talk separately about every single of them and I'm going to offer you the solution. Reason number one. The most common reason that people, they stuck in weight loss is you don't follow the guidance. You don't follow the instructions. No comply. This is the most common reason people, they stuck in their weight loss program because you don't listen what we are saying. There's no strong motivation, no commitment, no discipline. Number two, body adaptation. Your body has gotten used to, to the same exercises and same foods you are eating. As I said, I'm gonna talk about every single of those reasons in the future separately. Number three, number three is this, body acidification. Your body has become acidic, body acidification. Your body has become acidic. I'm gonna show you in one of our videos in the future that how when your body becomes acidic, metabolism actually goes down big time. Number four, you are insulin resistance. Insulin resistance. If you have developed insulin resistance at some point, you may stuck in your weight loss program. Reason number five, leptin insensitivity. Leptin uh, is an appetite controlling hormone. Usually uh, insulin resistance and leptin insensitivity, they come together, but they could be definitely separately. In people that they are leptin insensitive, their brains do not respond to hormone leptin. They suffer from excessive appetite. They suffer from hunger pangs. I'm gonna talk more in the future. Reason number Six. Reason number six is a little bit complicated. Reason number six is this. We have imbalance among four hormones. Those 
four hormones are leptin, ghrelin, ghrelin is a, a hunger hormone, orexin, another hormone, and adiponectin. I'm sure you realize it's getting complicated. Number seven, the reason number seven that you plateau. Micro nutrients deficiency. As you know, we have macronutrients, we have micronutrients. Macronutrients are proteins, fats, carbohydrates. We call them macronutrients. Micronutrients are vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and phytonutrients. If you are missing them, you're gonna plateau. Reason number eight. Ready for reason number eight? Because it's gonna surprise you. No carb diet. There are lots of people that for weight loss, they cut down their carb intake completely. Well, of course, when you cut your carb intake completely, you gotta lose weight at the beginning for a short while, then you're stuck. But remember something, it is famous in sports medicine and weight loss that we say fats burn in carbohydrate flame. Reason number nine, no exercise or wrong exercise. Either you are exercising wrong, which is actually very common, or you have not included any exercise in your weight loss program. You just follow a meal plan, for example. Reason number 10, over training syndrome. You exercise too much. If you exercise too much, you may develop overreaching or overtraining syndrome. When you develop overtraining syndrome, that's a promise uh, you're gonna stuck in your weight loss. Reason number 11. Reason number 11 is something we call it dysbiosis. Dysbiosis is a medical term. Dysbiosis means that there is an imbalance between good bacteria and bad bacteria in your gut. Oh, you heard it absolutely right. If there is an imbalance between good bacteria and bad bacteria in your GI system, which is called dysbiosis, is going to lead plateau in your weight loss. Reason number uh, 12, uh, serotonin dysregulation. I'm sure you know that serotonin is famous as happiness hormone. If it is too much, it's gonna cause trouble. If it's too low, it's gonna cause trouble. One of the reasons that people, they plateau in their weight loss, we have over there serotonin imbalance. Reason number 13, medications. There are seven groups of medications that they mess up the metabolism. If you are taking any medications from those seven groups, that might be the reason you are not losing weight. I'm gonna have definitely a separate video, as I said, about every single of these reasons. Reason number uh, 14. Reason number 14 is this, lazy liver. I'm not sure, probably you right now you are in it for the first time. Lazy liver, you know, lazy liver doesn't mean that you have liver diseases. Lazy liver doesn't mean that we see something wrong, uh, you know, in your blood works. Lazy liver is just lazy liver, like a lazy person. A lazy person is not necessarily a sick person. When I talk about lazy liver in the future, we will see. Number uh, 15. Number 15 is this. Undiagnosed medical condition. You are suffering from a medical condition, but you are not aware of it. You have not been diagnosed with any diseases, but you have it. I don't have space in here to write it down for you, but I'm gonna list the top five. Usually sometimes people win plateau and further investigation reveals that they are suffering from one of those uh, reasons that I'm gonna uh, mention right now. Low function thyroid, diabetes type two, 
depression, female hormonal imbalances, and PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. So right now, you can see when someone plateaus, there are lots of reasons to consider. And it is practitioner's responsibility to discover why this client has plateau and offer the solution. As I mentioned at the beginning, I'm going to have a brief discussion about every single of them in the future, and I'm going to offer you definitely the solution, how we're going to fix them. We make science easy to understand. Now you know. If you don't want to miss our weekly videos, you may subscribe to the CSSN channel on YouTube. Until next time, stay safe, stay updated.